installation of a DX engineering 43 foot HF antenna. Little bit more than installing your average pair of rabbit ears. So, uh, and for many people, this is going to be boring ham radio stuff. Kind of like a review and a uh, install video all in one. All right. Anyway, let's look down here at the camera. I mean, at the uh, pipe. That's a four foot piece of galvanized steel pipe in the ground. Uh, you know, dug it with the post hole digger and uh, you have to leave 20 inches above the ground. I left 21 inches. Give me a little bit to play with. You know, not much, but a little bit. I dug it, poured concrete in it, and let it sit overnight. So now we're ready to start the uh, actual assembly of the end. All right, let me get back here a little bit. Since this camera has a zoom on it, I will be able to... There. Okay, this is what basically comes in the package that I got. There's some... This basic kit doesn't cover this. Uh, you know, basic kit, just basically the antenna. The reason I went with DX Engineering is because this piece right here uh, where you hook up your radio still that's all stainless steel that plate right there is a very heavy piece of stainless steel which allows if I know there's a big windstorm coming I could just uh, unhook that and lay that antenna down on the ground uh, it's rated they say the engineers at 90 mile per hour with no support I am going to put a couple of little guy wires up on it and uh, you know all this is heavy duty stainless steel hardware except for the antenna there also comes with a five kilowatt four to one UNAN I hope I'm saying that right of course your instructions their base plate and everything and I got four of the 65 foot radials now I've also got a spool of 500 foot just bulk from Lowe's 14 gauge wire that I'm going to be making 33 foot radials. Now they say for best performance to use at least 32 65 foot radials. Alright, I'm going to start out with the four and then I'll add as many as I can of the 33 footers and then maybe next month I will be able to buy another 500 foot roll or so and add more 65 footers. You know, so I'm doing a combination of uh, uh, 65 and 33 footers for cost reasons or I may get like uh, I don't know what would be 24 of the uh, of the uh, 33 footers and then do another 8 of the uh, 65 footers so that will give me a, a mixture and then maybe you know later on I'll be able to afford to put some more in. But uh, that's the basic kit there, so I want to get together. I'm going to start by putting these screws just in the holes here, and that way uh, everything gets accounted for. Okay, you can do this however you want to. I mean, I'm just putting together this radial plate first. You can see how many ground radials all these holes are going to each could be eventually a ground radial. But, uh, First thing you do is you put on the little star washer. Uh, now when you put put the wire on, the wire would go next. You would put the wire next. But I'm just putting all these together to keep track of all my screws. Then you'd put the regular flat washer. Then you'd use the split washer, which some people call a lock washer. And the nut. So. I'm just doing this all at once and now you can see why I'm editing out this film and not showing fingers. just straight through. This right here, you got to make sure this, this bolt, this wide washer is on this side of this fiberglass channel. The reason for that is that this, this washer provides extra stability for this. If you just put the bolt on there, it would probably just pull right through. So that's what the big flat washers for, for that. Now on the back side of this, there will be another, this 
flat mounting bracket. This is metal. That gives it a lot of strength. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this here together. Let me go ahead and another thing you'll need is a good sharp knife. is we're going to put it because we're using the uh, other gizmo. You got to let me get this down here in the picture. We'll put this through like this. Like that. And then there's this thick spacer washer that goes on next. And then we put on a some people call them a lock washer. And then we got a, where did it go? Regular nut. Where are my regular nuts? It's not me. I know no, no jokes about the nuts. I know I'm nut. Then we put on the regular nut. That will kind of hold this in place. You see what I've done there? put this up. Got spacer washer, lock washer, and another nut. And I got to do that four more times. So we'll put the, oh yeah, don't forget the flat washer. Goes on the uh, fiberglass side. Put it through. Put the spacer on. Put the lock washer on. And then we put the regular nut on. Okay, here we are again. Now you're going to see the bottom of this channel. It's got a channel in the bottom. This is where these washers, the smaller washers, are going to go. One's going to go on each side of this. These yeah. channels. This is the bottom. Alright, so I'm going to put this in here like so. But first, you got to put, don't forget the little washers there. See if I can do this without went up too bad. Alright. So now I got that there. Now I can flip it over here. So y'all can see what I'm doing. Now that I got those little washers on that side, on the bottom I want to put the other two little round washers. And here I got these uh, Okay, nope, doesn't need that. It needs just a plain old, uh, what they call a nylock washer. It's got the little piece of nylon in them. They're kind of hard to turn, so you're going to need a little wrench to do that. But I'm just doing it finger tight for now, for at the, at the moment anyway. And then up here at the top, you'll have these, uh, I don't know, built-in washer nuts, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Anyway, they'll go up here at the top. I'm going to do this real loose so I can show you the, the effect of the tilt. Let me just put this on here. Now, but anyway, if you want to tilt this over, you loosen up these nuts, and there's your antenna, and it slides over. I'm going to get out of the way so y'all can see that. You will have to lift up on it. But that's the effect of the tilt. And this will be better once I get all that in there. So let me go ahead and lift it up. So I can get it back where it needs to be. That's not in the groove there. And I'll finish putting this here. Part here together. Anyway, this locks down here like so that's see that's not yeah it is a seven sixteenths nut there seven sixteenths there and these are seven sixteenths too ah oh, how nice anyway the nylon washers just lock everything in place 
you can see I'm putting this mostly all together on the porch. Starting to get dark. Now this is going to be a two day video. Hopefully I'll edit it down where it's enough for uh, a YouTube video. Maybe a two parter. This may, this may have to be a two parter. Oh by the way, just in case I forgot to show it last time. That's what the uh, the grounding plate looks like. You can uh, all these will be ground wires. Now the regular kit doesn't come with this. This is the deluxe kit. It comes with the extra bolts. The regular one only comes with 20 of them. So you get two more 20 packs, which is enough for 60 ground radials. When you when you buy the deluxe kit, which gives them a reason to you know sell the deluxe kit. Which is basically, if you want this antenna to perform the way it's supposed to, you will want to get the... Alright, now I'm going to attach this. You'll see this This particular one has a standoff thing that will sit in there. Now this, got, this is where you connect your, your feed point right here. So you want to make sure this, as you're looking at this piece right here, is pointed out the left. Left side, that's the way it shows it. And you want to leave, looks like, it doesn't give a precise amount, but in the picture it looks like about that much sticking out the bottom to hook all your stuff to. So I'd say a couple inches coming out the bottom, what it look, appears to be. Then we're going to put this right over the top, making sure that hole is coming out the side, like so. Probably doesn't really matter, but I'm going to do it just like the picture shows. Just because every time I assume something it doesn't turn out right. Here's the second one. Right there. Yeah, it doesn't look like a couple inches at the bottom base. On a couple inches, there's about enough room to run the other strap. Nothing getting in that. Okay. Maybe two and a half inches out the bottom. Okay, I'll put this one here on this side here. Run this through like so. Great break open the nuts and washers here. Of course, you know there's always the directions getting dark out here. This, yeah, this is definitely going to be a two-parter. Everything there looks good. So, we're going to put... Got to remember to put the big washers against the uh, fiberglass portion for strength. And then you put your lock washer on. Let me turn it over here. Maybe I can do it without it all falling out. Ah. All right. So this will be the last I get to do tonight. I have to do a two-parter. Anyway, we'll put the flat washer on there. Those give it strength. The lock washers lock it in place. Lock washers lock it in place. I don't know. We got this camera does pretty good on low light. Then we got the nuts. Got a nut. Putting a nut on. Get that going. Do the same procedure up here on the top. I bet you these are half inch or something. A little bit bigger. Nuts. Like me, big nut. We got the flat washer first. Lock, lock washer second. And then you go with the nut. Down, maybe that goes, does go a little bit up. Make sure your feed point's facing right the way you want it. I'm going to tighten that down, I guess, and we'll come back tomorrow for where I actually attach this to the pole.